Breaking right now, a young boy found safe after the car he was in was stolen. And police are still searching for the thief tonight. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. The car and little boy missing for more than an hour before they were found. Seanette covering the story for us tonight. She's live in West Philly. Well, Sheba, there were reports we were told by police that the child's father said that he actually had two guns in the center console of that car. So there was concern about how that could have played a factor uh, as well. But police say the father does have a permit to carry. However, they do not know right now if those guns are still in the vehicle. Uh, it is being taken in for fingerprinting and evidence. It has not been fully searched as of yet. But what we can tell you tonight is that that child is back with his parents and he is safe. So let's go ahead and take a look at some video that we were able to get of this emotional uh, reunion tonight when police pulled up at Brown Sugar Restaurant with the four-year-old child they say was asleep in a car seat in the back of his father's car when a male jumped in and took off. Police say the father had gotten out, left the car running while he delivered items to the store to stock shelves. Now, this all happened just after 6.30 tonight at 52nd and Chancellor in West Philly. After police put out the call around the city, a police helicopter was in the air and police from every district served Searching. Witness actually ran up to the vehicle and started banging on the driver door window, saying that there was a child inside the vehicle. And the vehicle with the child in it were both located about two miles from 52nd and Chancellor at University Avenue and Curie Boulevard in a parking lot. The person who stole the vehicle was no longer with the vehicle. Now, here's a look at Sky Fox video of the car in that parking lot. Police say the child was still uh, in that car. And again, we are happy to report tonight that that boy is OK. Police also say the suspect was with the second person, an 18 year old male who was walking with the suspect toward the car, but did not get in. A witness, we're told, stopped him. Police say they got info from him identifying the suspect who at this hour they are still looking for. So right now, police telling us that SVU is investigating because this is an abduction, but they also say that they do believe it is likely uh, that the person who took this car did not know that the child was in the back seat sleeping. Uh, they just say that they think this person saw the engine running and took this as an opportunity to take the car. But again, Jason, good news tonight. That four-year-old, okay, and back with his parents tonight. That's the best part there. Seanette Wilson, thanks for reporting on this breaking story for us tonight. Also